this is MacBay, and welcome to another episode of MacBay Dios. Today we're going to look at this dojo structure slash meditation room diorama. And right now what you're looking at is the disassembled look of this dio. We'll be putting this together as we talk through this. So you'll be able to see what the interior and the exterior looks like once we put this together. Unfortunately, I lost the video for the preliminary stage for this uh, diorama build. So I won't be able to show you guys what this one looks like before I painted it and, and kind of see, see the materials behind uh, this completed product. But what I'll try to do is go over as much as I can and point out some of the materials that I use. So if you guys want to replicate or, uh, you know, want to use it for your own dial project, then at least you know what it, what it is. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at this. So let's first take a look at the uh, accessories for this dial and I actually have a couple of small kind of like Buddha statues and this guys I got from uh, Chinatown during one of my trips and it actually works pretty well you'll be able to see that once we uh, put that in the dial later on and then this one is a couple of uh, food dogs statue again uh, from Chinatown and this one is like one of those mini ones so it's actually pretty cool because the scale kind of works for this dial so I decided to use this and also I re repainted this because this one is actually originally colored kind of brown brown or wooden type color and it's kind of shiny and so I decided to make it more of like a stone look uh, statue. So I think it came out pretty good. The other ones that I created, created here is this little table. I uh, made this one from scratch using uh, balsa wood and sticks. And basically these guys are going to be put in there later on. So the next one is this little platform that I created uh, for this uh, piece right here. But this one is basically just uh, pink foam. As you can see the back is didn't paint it because you're not going to see it anyway. So this one is basically a wood kind of like platform. And then this one is... Again, it's kind of like a ceremonial bell or meditation bell uh, that I decided to put together. And the uh, base or the structure right here, those are all built from scratch using uh, sticks and balsa wood. This one right here is a um, <clears throat> uh, lollipop sticks or popsicle sticks right here. And then this one is basically just some of those um, uh, chain link, uh, not chain link, but uh, necklace chains that you could get from Michaels right here. And then this bell right there, I actually got from, again, Chinatown. Uh, I was able to buy like a few of these, just the bell, bell by itself. And so uh, I've been wanting to use it for this kind of purpose and finally was able to do. To do it it's actually made out of uh, metal so it's you know has some weight uh, on it so it's pretty cool and that's the natural finish of that bell so I didn't do anything or any additional work on that one and next one is one of the major pieces in here is this uh, rooftop and this rooftop is actually one piece. I uh, decided to make it one whole piece. 
and it's actually pretty cool because um, you could basically use this piece like that for your uh, photography uh, usage uh, by itself like that and underneath you could see is the uh, the roof for the structure or the ceiling for the structure and um, uh, if I go this one, this one is the uh, side where you could kind of see some of the reinforcement that I did for this roof. It's all made out of foam, pink foam. Uh, some of this right here uh, is made from balsa wood. And this one I actually experimented in using uh, paper straw for this right here. And my original plan is there is to actually mimic the uh, Asian rooftop look, you know, but unfortunately, I think I used a uh, or the diameter of this uh, straw that I use is actually kind of small, so it didn't quite get to that look that I was going for originally. And so, what I did is I just uh, decided to just make this more of like a a uh, metal uh, roof and it actually works so I actually like what this one looks like I mean it obviously uh, doesn't have that traditional dojo or Asian uh, structure uh, roof but I think it works so I guess you could say that this is like a modern, a little bit more, a little bit more modern uh, dojo structure now, as opposed to a traditional or old style uh, dojo structure. So let's go to the main walls or the yeah the the three basically there's three pieces of uh, walls and flooring here. For the structure and this one right here is uh, basically the left side when when I put when I put the die together this one will be like this and material wise this one is actually uh, acrylic uh, plastic right here that I stained and then what I did uh, this time around instead of using actual um, balsa wood or 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 craft foam materials to to accentuate the lines actually this one what I did here is just basically drew drew directly to the acrylic um, plastic um, using a uh, acrylic uh, pen so I think it works pretty good and it can save you a lot of time. I mean, I mean for this look, it still works. Um, but if you really want something uh, like more uh, hands-on, um, not necessarily realistic, but if you want it to see more of like the, the actual, you know, materials, kind of like wood or balsa wood, creating that lattice for the window then you could go for that but I think for this for me this is like a, an, another option that you could utilize uh, when you're making your windows I think it's very effective and it can have really good uses in diorama making so that's something for you guys to think about uh, and then this right here uh, that I use here is uh, place it's a tabletop mat that you could get from Target and it has that kind of like um, oriental style kind of like wall look to it so I basically just cut it and then uh, glued, glued it back 
to the surface. And then this one right here is just a uh, 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 wallpaper or stock paper with this kind of patterns. I think it kind of works with this one right here. I kind of like the uh, the pattern and it does have some sort of Asian vibe to it at least um, for me when I when I look at this a little different than the uh, standard uh, uh, Asian wallpaper patterns but I think this one kind of works and then at the back of this is the um, the exterior look again I'll be able to show this uh, later on once we put it together but um, basically yeah these are all carved uh, foam and this is the main back wall you can see pretty much uh, material wise pretty much the same as the one I showed you guys um, earlier with the other wall and the only ones that um, a little bit new in here is this one right here. This piece right here is actually, um, I got this from one of those uh, Chinese uh, lucky um, charms or something like that. Uh, it's actually a part of, uh, of a bigger um, piece. So I only took this, I took this one out of there and replaced the symbol the chinese symbols with this japanese symbol which is if you guys are curious this symbol is the uh japanese symbol for um, life so again this one is a you know like a meditation room so i think that symbol kind of works well so it actually came out pretty good and then lastly, the floor is relatively simple. Uh, this one is a, again, a bamboo mat. As you can see at the back, it's unpainted. I actually spray painted this side right here to give it, give it uh, a more uniform uh, you know brown brown tone look or darker look to it and um, the sides are pretty much just carved or textured as if it's gonna be wood so let's go and put this stuff together so here's the main uh, main uh, back wall so you can see it snaps pretty easy. Here's the side wall right here. So that one, you kind of see what this one looks like right now. If we look at the outside, that's what it looks like. Pretty cool. And let's put the roof. However, if I put the roof, it's going to be a little darker on this side. But let's just put it anyway before we put all these accessories. So this one actually go uh, this way. And let's see. So like I said, it's kind of dark. So I'm gonna, there you go. I'm gonna push it all the way back so you could kind of see. But you know what? Before we put the accessories, let me just swing this out just to give you guys an idea what the exterior looks like right now. So that's what the exterior looks like. Okay, and 
And to finish this thing off, let's put the accessories together. Let me put my chair here. So first, let's use this little platform in here. this statue Let's see it's actually pretty good because it has a weight to it so kind of holds that that you know platform in place so let's put this ceremonial bell or meditation bell to this Back and let's put this oh, might not be centered. Let me put one more on this side. There you go. And let's finish this with this final touch. what this one looks like yeah actually it came out pretty good um, I really like that that frame really pops out with that gold I actually decided to leave it the way it is in terms of like the the finish of that frame uh, I just like that gold. Um, I think that pops up in this dial. Since this dial is relatively in kind of like towards uh, dark, like dark tone, you know, something like that balances, balance, um, or draws your eye to it. So let me get a figure just to give you guys an idea of the scale. There you go. That's the uh, articulated icon uh, figure right there. So you kind of see that the uh, scale looks really cool. It's perfect. All right, well, I hope you guys like this video. I think I already made this video long enough. Um, I hope that you're able to pick up something from this dial build. And as always, I thank you guys for your uh, support and I'll see you guys next time.